I'm Peter Judge from Data Center Dynamics. I'm here at our show at CBIT in Hanover. Uh, and I'm now talking to Don Beatty. Don. Hi, Peter. You know a lot, that's putting it mildly, about um, air conditioning and heating in data centers. And in your work at ASHRAE, you're kind of persuading data center owners to allow their servers to become a little hotter, to spend less energy <laughs> cooling them down. Is that a fair summary, and, and how's it going? Well, first of all, your statement on how much I know. The more you know, the more you don't know. Mm -hmm. And so I know I know not much. <laughs> but in any event, um, the idea is to try to educate people on the issue of how it's just as safe to operate the servers at a hotter temperature, mm -hmm. that that fits the warranty issues. Yes. They've been around forever, so to speak. Yes. So in other words, the original ASHRAE standards that take us to 18 to 27 degrees C, yes. that's the reliability range, and that's available to be used on things even, let's say, 1995 vintage. Mm -hmm. So it really gives us a great opportunity to use the climate for cooling instead. Right. If you, because once you get to a higher temperature, it's, um, that you, you can start to use outside air to cool the uh, servers, and, and that's more efficient and wastes less energy. Whether it's outside air or through uh, condenser water or evaporative cooling, but either way, to use the climate. Yeah. The hotter you can operate inside the data center, the more you can use the hotter temperature that there's outside. Right. Who's, who, do you ha who do you have to work hardest to convince about this? Because I understand it's been a process where people have, it used to be that you walked into a data center and had to put a coat on, it was so yes, cold. Yes, yes. <laughs> and it's, things have gradually changed. Who have you, who's been the toughest person to convince? The data center manager or the, uh, the hardware vendor that isn't going to change the, uh, the warranty details? Well, it's really the interface between the two. One or the other usually stops it. Mm -hmm. And it's because they are concerned about the reliability and their overall risk. But as time goes on, and there's more and more pressure to reduce capex and opex, that's what will drive the adoption mm -hmm. because it saves on both. Right, okay. Is there anything happening this year that we should watch out for? Any particular sort of um, milestones or events? Yes. We've, been, we've just finished a study mm -hmm. that proves that you can operate at a lower humidity. Uh -huh. So we'll be rewriting that part of the standard and it will drop down to 8% okay. RH. So that's really significant. Great, that's a new ASHRAE standard that yes. will be uh, coming out when? The white paper version should be out at least by the summertime, mm -hmm. and the book itself by the end of the year. Okay, and so, and the white paper, there's a draft of it already, I guess, the way yes, standards there is. work. Yes. So, if you're a data center owner, you can start to work towards that now already, I expect. Yes, and because data centers care about temperature and humidity, both of those two things. Yeah. Lowering the humidity really helps us on the outside climate as well. Right, okay. I, mean, I think the whole idea of, I mean, to me, um, humidity has been a bit of an unknown quantity. This may not be so for real data center owners. Uh, I'm sure yes. they know a lot more than I do about it. But um, the, the, the media coverage certainly has been much more about temperature than humidity. So that's a new area for some of us. It, it sure is. and we. We had a test with all different types of floor tiles, mm -hmm. anti-static and not, all different types of shoes yes. and clothing in order to understand the range of possibilities and the consequences of static electricity at the lower humidities. Right, because that's the big danger with low humidity, more static. Yes, yes. Right, which can kill your electronics, so no wonder people are scared of it. And we found that between the 8% and in the 20s, 25, 30%, yes. The difference in the static electricity, insignificant. Oh. So that's what that's why we're going to be publishing this okay. new piece. So the the message, as with humid, as with temperature, is to stop worrying. You've got plenty of leeway. To yes, exactly. Excellent. Good. We'll all go away and start changing them. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you.